We'll do another one with this camera here. 24 degrees, 24 degrees. 43428.3 So I heard today on the news that Obama has decided to open up relations with Cuba. We're going to actually have an embassy there and they're going to open up an embassy in our country. Personally, I would say it's about time. I've been talking about this for 20 years and uh, that's okay. You can accuse me of being an Obama fanboy. I'm not particularly a fan of any president, really. I just think they work for us and uh, I expect them to do a halfway decent job and when they make good decisions, I'll give them credit for making good decisions and I think overall this was actually a pretty good decision. 50 years of trying the same thing and it hasn't worked. Um, as a matter of fact, I just think back since the uh, Kennedy administration, it's just been a uh, retribution kind of thing. You know, we're mad about them. They didn't. We weren't able to uh, exert our military strength and uh, throw out Castro and get in the kind of government we wanted for him. So uh, we were going to stay pissed off for ever and ever about it. And. Uh, if you look at the fact that uh, we've even had normalized relationships with Vietnam for 20 years and we lost, what, over 50,000 soldiers there fighting a war and uh, now you even see Vietnam veterans going back and even uh, talking to some of the soldiers they fought against. I remember one guy, he uh, was some kind of military officer and he met and talked with a uh, former North Vietnamese general about their history in the war and uh, they seem to be willing to let bygones be bygones so um, I think we can do the same with Cuba it's not even a hundred miles away from uh, the tip of Florida and so if we can uh, freely go and come and trade with China and Vietnam and many other countries like that too and uh, I think he stated I'm not sure if it's true or not but he claims that we're the only country left, I guess, that really won't do much of any dealing with Cuba. I guess pretty much we're the uh, lone wolf in the whole world now as far as people that'll get along and uh, travel to and from Cuba and stuff like that. I mean, we can kind of do it to an extent. They've had exceptions for a long time that I guess if you're connected with some kind of ministry work or if you have relatives in Cuba, you could travel, but they wouldn't just open it up like you could just do regular tourism with Cuba. You had to have a specific reason to go there. You couldn't just go there for tourism, but now supposedly that's going to change. And I say good deal. I'm glad it is changing. And my other topic I wanted to talk about is public radio. I used to listen to, for a short period of time, I listened to Chicago Public Radio, but it just got on my nerves too much because it was just too much leaning to left-wing causes and uh, left-wing type of reporting all the time and not really what I consider fair and balanced. I mean, I think you can have good ideas on the left and the right and the center. So when a station just uh, is totally promoting one ideology, it kind of gets on my nerves and I think the the final straw was, oh my gosh, maybe over 15 years ago they had a contest where these kids uh, in the public school system, I guess they were all welcome to submit essays of what I would do if I were the President of the United States. And uh, what it ended up being is all these kids, one after one, I think it was one kid per day for five days were the five top winners got to come on the radio and say what they would do with their president and uh, every one of them had the same basic idea and it started out somewhat like this and some of them started exactly like this one after another with the same exact opening line if I were president I would make a program for and then they would proceed to talk about how they would dip into the Treasury and take this pile of free money that they think as soon as they become president they just get a hold of this 
hold of the keys to the vault and this big pile of money and how I would spend it to do this and spend it to do that. So um, I thought as teachers in a school system you would be teaching the kids a little bit that there was a little bit more to it than that, that it wasn't just this giant pile of money that, you know, once you get into politics and you uh, win the highest office in the land, you just get the keys to the vault and just go on a spending spree. I mean, solutions to problems are a little bit more complex than that really and they require I hope a little bit more thought for future generations going into politics, but if they believe that's really the solution, that there's this just big uh, giant money pile in Washington, D.C., and whoever gets their hands on it spends it, and that's what politics is about, um, that really leaves me uh, a bit worried for future generations. Now, of course, this is just a representation of part of the Chicago school system. I'm sure it does not speak for most of the nation, and I also found out in the last five years by switching to Wisconsin Public Radio, which is just, I live up in northern Illinois, and Wisconsin's just uh, less than an hour's drive north of me, and uh, so I can pick up Wisconsin Public Radio easily. That is a little bit more to my liking because they give all the views. You have some shows that give centrist views, you have some shows that give views that go to the left, some that views that go to the right, more conservative type of views. So I'm enjoying Wisconsin Public Radio a little bit more because I feel it is, it doesn't just claim to be balanced, it actually is in practice a more balanced news station, which I like. Yeah, I do like to get my news sources that are not just, uh, I don't like all of the same kind of idea. And I also don't like, uh, I don't even really care for shows that promote ideas I believe in if they just constantly do that and nothing else. I mean, you kind of want a variety in everything, even, uh, it's kind of like listening to the same three songs over and over and over again. You kind of want to expand your horizons a little bit, learn a little bit more. So anyway, anybody have any thoughts about opening up relations with Cuba? I can't see any real uh, negative impacts to it in the future. 11 million people we could possibly trade with. Ending mileage. 43432. And what is that? A 2, I think? 43432.2. Get a little closer here. Hope that shows.